morning, but I'm cold, so I've got my hoodie on again today. Um, ben is still sleeping. I've been up for probably a good hour, um, just getting going for the day. I've started making our stuff for the cleanse. I've got the lemon waters going, and then I was just checking the book to make sure I understood what we're having today, and then I did some story updates on Instagram um, just to get the day going with that. Got back to some direct messages. Um, we had definitely been posted about some controversial stuff on Instagram yesterday and got, you know, positive feedback and then not so positive feedback, you know. You know, our biggest thing is incorporating the right foods, right, and, and helping your body. So that's our main focus, but then also bringing up other topics that aren't always talked about today. Hey guys, so I did all of our prepping this morning for the cleanse and now I am just getting the day going. I um, am prepping some elderberry orders that I need to get out today that came in over the weekend. As you can see, I've got boxes. This is our spare bedroom slash office. I've got a bunch of boxes on there. They are organized, but I still need to go through and find a home for those. Um, but I'm just in here printing labels and putting um, them on the elderberry kit containers and then I'm gonna go in the kitchen and um, finish putting those orders together and then I just took inventory and realized I needed to order some more um, of the packaging stuff and I think I said I was gonna do this elderberry stuff yesterday didn't get to it so doing it now Okay, if you guys haven't tried honey lemon water, you have to try it. It's so good and it's way better for you than any other sort of, you know, processed lemonade. We have it pretty much every day. Uh, on the cleanse, we have to make sure during the day we drink at least 32 ounces of um, lemon or lime water throughout the day. And that is that doesn't is not a part of the morning lemon water or the evening lemon water. So this is totally separate. So you want to make sure you're drinking that water to constantly help flush out the toxins while your body is detoxing. Um, and the point of having lemon or lime in there is because you want the water to um, come to life. Because when it's just plain filtered water, it's pretty much dead and no longer living. You want a living water so you add in that lemon or that lime to add life back to the water so that it will then help hydrate you. Oh, and so the proportions is we do like whole lemon or whole lime in 32 ounces of water. So if you wanted to do half of that, say 16 ounces, then you would do like half of a lemon. Um, but you could choose to do more if you wanted to. Oh, and the honey, I just put like a big dab full of honey in there, mix it up, you know, kind of like uh, add honey to taste. So you give it a try and see how much honey you like. So I'm in the garage this morning because we are starting some more microgreen seeds. I just made the dirt. You can see the dirt right there. And that's what's in this tub here. And then I lightly dampen it. I just get it nice and lightly damped. I don't soak it by any means. And then I take it and I put it on my main tray here. So let me get back to doing these trays. I just thought I'd let you know what I've been up to all morning. I'm gonna get some more red clover planted. I'm gonna do some basil today. All right, so we're gonna start some seed. All right, so I got all my red clover done. I've got about 10 trays of it here. 
Uh, I want to do some basil after this. You can see I've got another five trays down here that need some seed on it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to move these, these red clover trays onto one of the shelves. <music> Alright, so next all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this tray with no holes on it. So you can see there's no holes in this tray. There's holes in these trays with the red clover in it. And this is going to black out the seeds. The seeds need darkness to grow. We're going to come back and we're going to check on these every day just to make sure they have enough moisture. And if they're not moist enough, we'll give them a little water. And then in about four days, we should start to see some germination. Alright, so we got our basil done. Pretty easy. We just sprinkle it on. All right, so now I'm gonna go get the hose. I'll water all these trays down, and then I will put top trays on them. So we got all the trays done. So you can see I've got shelves and shelves worth of trays now. These two shelves, remember, a couple days ago had nothing on them. But I think I'm done out here for the day. It's about 1.30 or so, so I spent the morning out here putting stuff together and headed back inside. Going to check in with Ashley and see what she's up to. Hey, what's going on in here? I am just getting ready to package up some elderberry kits. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I was showing them earlier that I was putting the labels on and uh, getting a big order ready. So yeah, just doing that so I can run it to the um, post office. Um, and then I have everything pretty much prepped for lunch. Um, and then I've got some other things around the house I gotta get done that I didn't get done over the weekend. So what's for lunch, a salad? No, it is the liver rescue smoothie. But today we're trying option B, which we've never tried before. What's that? Um, it's similar to option A in that it has a dragon fruit and bananas, but it doesn't have the wild blueberries. It instead has mango with sprouts, a celery stick, um, forgetting what else. Oh, and juice of a lime. Interesting. Plus the dragon fruit and bananas. Um, so there's just a couple ingredients you take out and add new ones in. Pretty much, you take out the wild blueberries, but then you're adding in like, I don't know, what was that, three new ones? Wow. That's um, going to be tasty, I think. Yeah, and you could do papaya instead of the banana, but we don't have papaya. Okay, I got all of the um, elderberry kits packed up, ready to go to the post office. Now I'm gonna have my smoothie. Give this a try for the first time, option B, first time. Mm. It's good. I think I still like the taste of option A better. So what'd you think of option B of the liver rescue smoothie? Um, it was good. It definitely wasn't as good as the blueberries. I'd so you like option A better? Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I really enjoyed that, but I also enjoy it with the blueberries. I think with the blueberries... The wild blueberries? Yeah, it adds like a, a more sweetness to it. But the mango had really good taste in it. Yeah, I was saying Super I don't care for the taste of the celery in this one. So you remember in some of the older videos, we were showing you uh, how our tinctures look? Well, we were doing some new labels. That's what I was doing today. Getting these labels done and sent out to the medicine man so he can 
put these new labels on all his new medicine he's making. I wanted to show you. Check it out. So that's just one of them. That's for Mullen, but we're doing these for every single medicine that we harvested while we were up at the property this year. And this is what we're having for dinner. Doesn't it look so delicious? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try. We haven't had these yet. Mmm, my body is just really craving leafy greens. This is gonna be good. Okay, so it's dinner time, or I'm making dinner. I've got everything chopped up. We are having the leafy green nori rolls. Um, so I'll show you everything that I have laid out um, before I assemble it. All right, so here we have some orange juice, and this is to brush on the nori sheet so it sticks once you roll up. We've got sprouts, we've got asparagus, cucumber, tomato, uh, red onion, some scallions, green onion, and then I've got some uh, baby spinach over here to really load up inside of the roll. And then we've got dulse, um, and then the nori sheets that it will all roll up into. Okay, time to eat, all done. How'd they turn out? Good, you know. Some of them didn't really cooperate, so it'll be interesting to eat those. You know, Probably gonna have my least rating uh, so far out of the meals. Mm -hmm. I feel like we need some sort of dipping sauce, you know? Well, that's why I brought the orange, the orange juice out to dip it in. Um, but now I'm gonna make our 16 ounces of lemon water and our evening tea. <laughs> Okay, day three. Almost done. We are done. Well, once we have our tea, and we gotta finish our water still. So we're drinking our waters now. We're gonna have our tea next, and uh, it was quite the day. Got a lot done, right? Yeah, I still didn't get done everything I wanted to get done. You got done. all your elderberry kits put together. Yeah, you I did. You shipped those ones out. That did take me a while, yeah. And we completed the day three of the cleanse. Yes. And we're a third of the way there. Yeah, and we're feeling pretty good. I feel like I got more energy. I feel a lot lighter. I don't feel as heavy. Yeah, and digestion feels good. Yeah, I've been having some good digestion. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, but I just meant, you know, my gut and everything feels like it's working good. Yeah, I've been feeling like my liver kind of like getting real tight and stuff, so I know it's... It's cleansing. Yeah, my skin is breaking out a little bit, but that is something that can happen when you're detoxing, is you can start to detox through your skin. Yeah, you can get some of your symptoms back. So it's best not to freak out and think, oh no, you know, like this is something bad for me. It's it's cleansing the body and the liver's doing work and sometimes these things do pop up. Yep. But we know we've done this so many times now that... Not enough. We kind of know that day five is going to be a rough one. Yeah, that's usually when it's like kind of emotional yep. before the final push of the toxins. But yep. we'll see. This is the first time doing the advanced version. So maybe we'll feel different. All right, you guys, well, we're going to go drink our tea and go to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you.